As a volunteer in 2008 at Mother Teresa's Missionaries for Charity, Hemley Gonzalez saw a darker side. I saw things like nuns washing needles with tap water and reusing them on patients. Uh, I saw patients dying without proper diagnosis. Today, Gonzalez runs his own aid group in Calcutta, India, and is a vocal opponent of Mother Teresa's organization, pushing it for more financial transparency and better care. I think people don't understand um, the whole dynamic. Author Susan Conroy also volunteered at Mother Teresa's hospice. The Home for the Dying isn't a hospital, it's a home, where we took in those who had nowhere else to go. Conroy knew Mother Teresa for 11 years and wrote two books about the woman who she says inspired her to reach out and care for those who have no one. Millions of lives throughout the world were touched by her for 50 years, you know, and we felt she was a saint all along. I, I personally looked at her like mother and I called her mother. I'd say, I love you, mother. <laughs> I couldn't help it. And now Mother Teresa will be officially known as Saint Teresa of Calcutta. Maurice, this is a woman who it was revealed in letters seen after her death struggled with her own faith and her relationship with God.